All right, in this screencast, I'm going to show you how to put the components on your boat and where to find those things. <clears throat> so, uh, to start, I'm going to go to New, and I'm going to make sure I'm on an English template and click Standard Assembly. So I'm going to double-click Standard and let it open. Again, it'll take a little time to open up as it is a pretty large um, type of drawing. To start, I'm going to go to the upper left corner, click Place, and I'm going to find where I have my where I have my item saved at. And in this case, I have mine saved in a special location. There it is. So I find where my boat hull was saved. And it'll look pretty big to start. I'm going to zoom out. I'll click in one spot, place one of my boat hulls. Then I'm going to click Escape on the keyboard. Now I'm going to place my components. Now the components are found uh, in the student shared folder. Make sure you copy them from the student shared folder into your uh, your school drive. So once you have them there, I'm not going to demonstrate how to do that. I'm just going to show you how to put them all together. So I'm going to go back to place. I'm going to find where I saved my parts at. And here are my parts. I'm going to place the one battery. So I click battery. I'm going to click once. Click escape on the keyboard. Go back to place. I'm going to place the motor. Place one motor, escape on the keyboard. I'm going to place a propeller. Place one of those, escape on the keyboard. Then finally, I'm going to go back to place, and I'm going to place a switch. And I'm going to place my switch. Now I'm going to click escape on the keyboard. Now I have my four items that I need to put together. I'm going to rotate my boat around so that I can see it a little bit better. Alright, so I'm going to look at it like this, I think. Escape to get out of there. Now, the first thing I'm going to put on is my motor. And I'm going to move my motor over here. And I'm going to, I want to rotate my motor so that it fits a little bit nicer in this. So I'm going to right click on the motor. And I'm going to click free rotate. Free rotate allows me to just rotate that motor. I'm going to rotate it so it kind of, it's in the direction that it's going to go in. Click escape. Now I'm going to constrain that motor. I'm going to lock it into place. So first thing I need to do is click constrain. And I'm going to use the mate function. That's this one here. I'm going to zoom in on my motor. And I'm going to highlight the axis. So see that long, short, dashed line? That's where I want to click once I have that selected. So I'm going to click on the axis of the motor. I'm going to find the axis of my engine hole here. So that's where I want to put it. I'll click there, and it'll automatically go in. I'm going to rotate around. I'm going to look at this side. So I'm going to tip that up right. Okay, now it's a little bit further back than I want it, but that's fine. We'll change that later. Click Apply. Now, if you'll notice, uh, my motor, it's, it can slide back and forth, but I, I, don't, I don't want it to move at all. So I'm going to do another constraint. I'm going to rotate around so I can see the back side of it. I'm, uh, I'm going to use the Constraint tool again, and this time I'm going to select Flush. So Flush tool, it's under the, uh, the Mate option, Flush. Select that. I'm going to flush the back of the motor with the back of the motor stand. I'm going to look at this side and I'm going to notice I don't want my motor back quite that far. I'm going to use the offset tool up here. So right here is the offset. I'm going to type in an offset of a, a 0.25 and it went the wrong way. So I'm going to go back before that and I'm going to call that a negative 0.25. That's a little too far. So maybe I'm going to go a 1.25. That looks good. Looks centered. I'll apply that, and now if I try to move my motor, the whole boat moves with it. So next thing I want to constrain is going to be my propeller onto my motor shaft. So for that, I'm going to use the constrain tool. I'm going to constrain, except now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to use the insert function. Okay, I'll zoom into the end of my motor. I'm going to select the end of the motor shaft. Zoom out. I need to rotate around so I can see inside of my propeller. So I'm going to go nice and slow. And there's the propeller right here. I'm going to zoom into that. And I want actually the, the back of the propeller. So this is inside that propeller hole. I'm going to click there. I'm, I'm going to zoom out again here so we can see what's going on. I'll rotate around so I can see it. That looks pretty good. I'll zoom in on it. I could offset that a little bit. I could put a 0.01 in there. Oh, wrong direction. So we'll go negative. So it looks like it's pressed on there a little bit. Maybe I could go a touch more like a 0.03. 
and then click apply and now my propeller if I looked at it would be on there and I could I can spin the propeller while the boat doesn't move so next thing I want to constrain is going to be my battery and right, I'm going to put the battery in this battery box down here so I'm going to click constrain and this time I'm going to use the mate function it's kind of like the glue button I'm going to glue two pieces together so I want to glue the bottom of my battery into the bottom of my uh, the battery box so I'm going to rotate down just a little bit and this is the area I want to constrain to so I'm going to get that highlighted click there my battery goes there click apply and then I and now I can move it around so I want to constrain the side of my battery so I'm going to constrain I still want the mate function the side of my battery with the corresponding side the battery box which happens to be this side I'm going to apply that and now I'm going to constrain the front of my battery rotate around to that corresponding side of my battery box this one's a little bit more difficult to see there it is it's this side here click apply now I'm going to zoom out and we can see that my battery is in the battery box when I move it the whole boat moves with it so now the last thing that I have to constrain is my switch and again we want a flush mounted switch meaning this sort of boxy part is down inside of the boat hull so we're back to constrain I'm going to use the glue function I'm going to glue my switch the bottom of that switch to the top of my boat hull click apply I'm going to glue the side of my switch to the side of the uh, the switch hole which happens to be right there the corresponding side click apply and now if you notice my switch the switch can still move so I'm gonna go up to constrain and I'm gonna glue together so I'm gonna use the mate function the side of the the hole where the switch is as well as the end of the switch so I'm gonna zoom out just a little here find the end of the switch I'm going to glue those together, but now if I look at the top, and I want it to be offset a little bit. So in my offset, I'm going to go 0.25, and actually we want that to be a negative 0.25, and that looks pretty centered according to the battery. Click apply. I'm going to go back home, and now looking at my boat, I have all of my components mounted onto the hull. They're all constrained properly.